Sound test good? Good? All right, cool. This is a Dell Optiplex 3040 Micro. Little guy, Micro. You're used to Micro things. Beep. I'm not used to Micro things. I have a whole stack of these because I refurbish tech that companies get rid of. And companies are getting rid of these uh, by the boatload. You can find these on eBay for less than $100, but there's a catch. And it's the conditions that these things are in. For some reason, people abuse these things. These poor micro PCs that have no natural defenses get used and abused. And it takes some work to get this thing up and running. As you see, our workbenches are all powered by these 3040s. They're all i3 models. We'll use Fedora, Linux, that's right. There's been a lot of hate comments towards uh, Fedora. The only reason we use Fedora on these computers, we try to install Debian or Debian, and it just kept giving us an error. This was before they released a major update. So we just went with Fedora, because my employee is a Linux masochist and he loves, he opens up terminal and just, you know. Linux Mint is what I do recommend everybody to use for your grandmother, your mother, anybody that's just an average user should be using Linux Mint, very easy to use. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. I've converted. Linux, baby. I need Linux. Lupe says Linux. Don't tell Lupe how to say Linux. You stop those comments right now. Argue with me on my Patreon. Argue with Lupe on his Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> These make great lightweight machines for basic usage, and that's exactly why we have them as our workbench PCs, because uh, we just use them as referencing for, um, you know, if you need to look up a model number or something like that, you can do it on here, and you don't have to worry about Windows updates or bloatware or Microsoft trying to steal your data. Well, not trying to steal your data, but Microsoft. They already stole it. They already stole it. Yeah, it's some guy in. You know, I can't, I can't say that. Yeah. Can't, can't, <laughs> can't say that one. So if you do buy these from eBay, which we don't, we actually buy them directly from a recycler that gets them from companies getting rid of them. You are gonna get them in this condition. So I'm gonna show you today, I'm gonna refurbish it and I'm gonna give it a new life because that's what we do at Salem Tech Experts. I don't repair people's stuff anymore. I repair my own stuff and then I spread it to the people like my seed with your mother. I'm just gonna get out of the way here before the comments ask because I know they're gonna ask, no, you can't game on this. Maybe you can play like Pac-Man or Tetris or something like that. If you expect to play games that have high demanding graphics, you know, something like War Thunder, today's video sponsor. War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made and is available for free on PC and consoles. Now I thought owning one tank was cool, but in War Thunder, you can command over 2,500 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships spanning from the 1920s all the way to today. Some of you may know history was my major in college, so speaking from a point of realism, there's simply no game better suited for fans of military history. The amount of detail put into these vehicles, graphics, and authentic sounds is unmatched and immerses you in a way no other game can. The damage model alone is one of the most sophisticated in gaming. Each vehicle is modeled down to its individual components and different types of armor, shells, and missiles behave like they would in the real world. And my favorite feature is the x-ray view because I can't stand not knowing how I lost a battle while fighting against one of the 95 million active players because with this view I can see precisely where a shell penetrated, which components were damaged, and what ultimately led to my unfortunate demise. So if you want to join the action, you can play War Thunder for free on PC, PlayStation, Xbox, Android, or iOS by using my link in the pinned comment or video description. New and returning players who haven't played in six months on PC and console will also receive a massive bonus pack across all platforms that includes multiple premium vehicles, the exclusive vehicle decorator Eagle of Valor, 100,000 Silver Lions, and seven days of premium account. It's available for a limited time only, so you better be quick. Now, come in here. Uh, yeah, my favorite number. Nice. You may be wondering why am I going to this room? This room that's 87.1 degrees. Now, the reason I'm walking into this room with this thing is because the other two PCs were not in good condition. And when I mean not in good condition, I mean physically, the outside, okay, whatever, we can clean that off with a rag. No, no, internally. Holy sh That's right. These are dust magnets. These little guys also double as little vacuums. So if you find this on eBay, you're probably gonna be finding it in this condition. Granted, you'll probably only be paying $60 or so for it, but this is what you're gonna get. Most of them still come with the HDDs nuts, but if you think that's all the dust there is, well, believe me, every single nook and cranny of this thing is layered with filth. It's reminiscent of your bedroom. You bring it underneath, there's dust balls everywhere. But the dust is fine, there's no problem with dust, it's a little clean out. And, thankfully, a very good computer to practice for your first time. For a lot of you, I'm sure it's your first time. Now unfortunately the Gooch Collector isn't here to take care of all this and uh, package it neatly. He's still 
in transit to the new shop. But that's fine because these little balls, we're gonna feed to outside. Thanks to uh, Trump cutting the EPA's budget, we don't have to worry about helicopters anymore. Look at this. Yeah, look at that, look at that baby. Very tasty, very tasty. Makes, <laughs> oh God, I shouldn't have done that. Oh God, it's even in between the USB and between the motherboard. Look at this, it's under the motherboard. Make a pillow out of that thing. Yes. Oh, there's another chunk, you missed that guy. Uh, he's oh, hiding wow. there, yep, and there's a few more right here too. He was hiding in plain sight. Mm-hmm, just like racists. <laughs> look at that, look at that Gucci collection. Disgusting. And we have this, of course, our little dust blower. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna stop the fans from spinning. That's what you do. And I'm gonna blow it out. That's what she said. That's what she said. What do you think that looks like? Decent? Look at the dust from the fan. You can buy this blower on my Amazon store. I need Link the in the description. Link in the description blur. I'm gonna take off this HDD because I think there's dust under here. These ones are pretty simple to take out if I remember correctly. I think it just slides forward, right? Yep, forward and then up. Oh, it's not bad at all. So we do have an M2 SATA slot, but this does not have NVMe. So I'm just gonna replace the HDD's nuts with an SSD. It also does have two RAM slots. This one only has one filled. We'll fill it up with another one. Now my idea, my goal for refurbishing these ones, the extra ones that we have, I'm gonna put uh, Linux on it and I'm gonna see how many we can sell on the store because all you guys are saying you should put Linux on these older devices. Well, I'm gonna do it. And if it doesn't sell, we know I shouldn't do it anymore. Uh, don't forget, Linux only takes up about 4% of the market share right now. So yeah, That's I mean- a lot, baby. More than you know, 80% of people are interested in either Mac OS or Windows. So I have to cater to, to the mass audience instead of us nerds. I love these things because they're super modular. Uh, they do have a proprietary power supply and it is soldered, so it's not a modular power supply. So we took out the hard drive, no screws, right? Look at this heatsink cover and the CPU fan. And look at this, see? Oh, my, where'd my tweezers go? They're right there. I got them, ugh. We got some extra right here. Oh yeah. Long dong silver. Hell yes. There he is. What do we got here? Oh, we have eight gigs of RAM here. So nice. we should probably replace that with a uh, two four gig six so we can run in dual channel. We're finished out here. I'm sweating my balls off. Let's go back in. Replacing the hard drive is easy. There's two screws or something like that. No, remember when I said there was no screws? No. Look at this. My data, no. Oh no, my baby photos. <laughs> I shouldn't even say that. We've done so many data recovery repairs <laughs> for that. Uh, this, this hard drive was already bad and it's only a 250 gig, right? Five hundred gig. It took me that long to find that. The greatest technician that's ever lived. We're gonna do Linux Mint, so I'm gonna go to linuxmint.com, download the ISO, go to rufus.ie, download Rufus, and then just plug in my USB, load the ISO onto Rufus, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now it's time to plug in our baby Optiplex, and the first thing we have to do is disable Secure Boot because this is insecure just like me. Let's hit that power button. Now why install Linux, you might ask? I have a newly found appreciation for Linux. After using Windows for so long, I've had enough. I've had enough of Microsoft's BS, man. Forcing us to use Copilot and everything, and it's just getting worse and worse, and the fact that they're causing this huge e-waste disaster by specifically not letting you upgrade computers that are perfectly usable, it's aggravating. What was any of that text? I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue. So this is actually the entire operating system on a USB. You can do whatever you want, except for save data. This is great for I don't want anything fa anything fancy, I just want English. Speak English! I'm gonna install multimedia codecs as well. Look at that fancy cursor, Lupe. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes. Look at that. Erase disk and install Linux Mint. Yes, I do. If you continue the changes, yes, I'm gonna write changes. The key to installing Linux, don't read anything. Just hit next. Yes. Is Boston not an option here? Only New York? It's Boston, right? <laughs> I think that's Boston. Then you get to point with your cursor. Oh no, I hit New York! Damn it! My name, the greatest technician that's ever lived. Your computer's name, the greatest Linux Mint install that's ever lived. Tiglamintel. Pick a username. Tiglamintel. Password. Don't copy my homework. And now we wait! Installation is finished. Restart now, baby. Restart now. 
Now there's different flavors of Linux Mint. Like Ubuntu? There's Cin- <laughs> Ub- <B> Ubuntu? <laughs> I'm not gonna get into flavors, you guys can do all that. This is a nice intro though. Just go through the steps, shows you, you can customize everything and all that stuff. You can see if you can get updated drivers and all that stuff, codecs if you need them. It's very, very straightforward. My favorite color. Okay. I like a dark. Oh yeah. I like a dark moment. I don't care about system snapshots. I am gonna check for drivers. I'm all flying. Now these business grade computers should work out of the box with Linux. So, any like Optiplex, ThinkPads, Think Centers, all that stuff should work out of the box with Linux. As long as Secure Boot is disabled. Now, the big thing, one of the big things about Linux, right, is that it does not come pre installed with like a bunch of bloatware like Windows does. Uh, bloatware that you use and bloatware that you don't use, right? So, you have to install what you want to use. It comes with basic, the most basic stuff Firefox, LibreOffice. And somebody that's going to be using one of these machines, that's generally what they'll be using it for, to watch YouTube, to do maybe some Word document stuff, to, to look at email, to read news, to get depressed. Listen to my mixes. Listen to Lupe's mixes. Lupe G. Link down below, that's <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trying to say. Link down below. I'm not gonna do that yet. It does come with Firefox pre-installed, which is nice, but you can use like LibreWolf or something else if you want. But that's it, dude. That, that There's no configuring or anything like that. You'll never get intrusive updates where it literally locks your fucking desktop and tells you to log into a Microsoft account or remind me in three days and there's no option to actually skip. You go to restart your computer and it's Windows updates and then, you know, we're almost there, we're almost there, restarting. We're almost there, we're almost there, restarting. Something went wrong. Sad face. Crash. Crash. Even though they're getting rid of the sad face, you hear that? Did they? Yeah, what Microsoft they? got rid of the sad face. Well, what the heck, man? Yeah. What are we gonna get? A block? Just, just a guy with his dick out. Alright, I don't wanna import anything. I just wanna save and continue. Well that's it, the basic That's literally it. That's that's it. There's there's nothing else to it. So if you have an old piece of hardware or even a newer piece of hardware, just do that. Yes. Just use Linux. Or bypass it and install Windows eleven and suffer with the rest of us. But uh, it was about time I made this video, and I know everybody was asking for this video. We need it now. So what I'm going to do, like I said, these older machines, I'm going to set aside some of them to install. I'm just going to install Linux Mint on it, just the bare bones version, just like you see here. And that's it. Now, if you guys, you know, put your money where your mouth is, or I shouldn't even say that, you guys probably already own them. But if you think people are going to buy them like they buy my Windows machines, then let's see what happens, right? If not, I'll just reformat them and put uh, Windows 11 on there with the bypass. But uh, I'm just—I am curious how they'll do. I—I'm new to Linux and I've learned to appreciate them on a new level. Now, something to be mindful of is a lot of companies don't use Linux because they, it doesn't have the Microsoft Office suite or any Microsoft Office or 365 app. Obviously, because why would Microsoft want you using another operating system with their software? They had to give them back in the day with Mac OS, and now Mac OS has Office and all that stuff because it was taking up such a large market share. They couldn't avoid it anymore, but they're still reluctant to put anything on Linux. So, do not give this to somebody who's going to need it for business that revolves around the 365 suite, whether it's Word, Excel, blah, blah, blah. Yes, there are alternatives that come pre-installed in Linux Mint, like LibreOffice, but some organizations require, especially any Fortune 500 company requires Microsoft Office, whether it's like Outlook or Teams or anything garbage like that. So be mindful of who you give a Linux machine to. That's it, thank you for watching. Subscribe to our Patreon. Salem Texperts, thank you to the greatest viewers that ever lived. Uh, Lupe G1, Cash App. Look out for uh, the money. new mixes of the week every week. New mix of the week every week. That's it, thanks for watching. I love you. And don't forget to check out War Thunder by using my link in the pinned comment or video description. New and returning players who haven't played in six months on PC and console will also receive a massive bonus pack across all platforms. It's available for a limited time only, so you better be quick. Oh, my, where'd my tweezers go? They're right there. I got them. Ugh. That's extra. You gotta censor that. Oh, I'll, yes! I'll, <laughs> censor, I'll blur that. I'll blur that. Yes. But look at that little, little, little heat sink. Little heat sink right here. Guitar on that thing. You can play guitar. They're playing the drums downstairs. Yes. Playing diddly winks with manhole covers. <laughs> you ever heard that? No, I don't want to hear it. Mmm. Feels good. It smells like pumpkin. Pumpkin spice. Chai white. Chai white?
Yes. So this is a fantastic way to... Ghosts. Uh, it's the old subway workers coming back to haunt us. 